Hey y'all and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Music Monday. This is your host, Top Dot Man, and uh, you guys are tuned into the channel. Now, today we're going to talk about what does music mean to you? What does it do for you? How does it help you? Um, does it make you happy? Does it make you sad? Does it make you, you know, horny? Stuff like that. Uh, I didn't mean to say horny, whatever. But does it make you intimate? I want to get intimate and stuff like that. So, me, I just get me out the way. Music to me is a relief. Music is also a stress killer. Because if I can rhyme something out without having to do it physically, then I can do it. Um, it's also a relaxer to me because I can listen to a good beat for hours. Same thing, the same beat for hours and get something new out of it each time or get the same feeling, you know, something like that. But music to me means living, telling your story the way it's supposed to be told or telling your story in the way that you want to tell it and not letting everybody else dictate how your story is going to go. Music is a way for you to express yourself. It's a form of expression. So <clears throat> it's a way for you to express yourself and, you know, get right um, a lot of people do music you know to get famous hey, you can see that just when people are doing their acts and everything a lot of people do music just to get famous but it's a small percentage of people that do music just because they actually love the art and getting famous is something on the side but them sending their message through their music is basically the big part of what they want to of trying to achieve or what they want to do so they satisfied with that me I'm one of the people that I can rap and I can write music and do all of that and harmonize a little bit but if me not getting famous off it's cool as long as my people know that I can do it and they like what I do and if I came out with like an album or something they listen to it that's cool with me you know I'm not finna force it down nobody throw I'm not finna come out here and try to take nobody's spot in this little music game right now nah that's just not me, you know what I'm saying? I'm up there in age a little bit. Not up there, but um, I think it's a certain cutoff point, certain age to where you should stop trying to be um, a famous rapper or something. You should be focused on either career or um, <clears throat> have something set away, a goal that you're trying to achieve. Um, now, if you can do it at the age of 38, 39, 40, okay, that's cool. Me, I just figured yeah, my time could be used for something else. But I still love music, so I still do it. You know what I'm saying? If my little freestyles that I got, that I put on here, end up getting me somebody and I'm listening to them, and be like, you know what I'm saying? You sound like you got some type of talent. We want to holler at you. That'd be cool. If not, I'm just satisfied with people just hearing what I can do and, and hearing my talent. So I'm good with that. So I want y'all to ask y'all self, what does music mean to me? What does it do to the soul? What does it do to the intelligence? What does it do to make my life move forward? You know what I mean? Because some music is negative. You got some music out there that's just focused on self-destruction and destruction period. And it's not, no emphasis to it. The emphasis to it would be just kill murder hurt you know what I'm saying and if you own that then okay I'm not promoting that but if you own that you own that me I'm one of them Bob Marley type cats I'm on peace love and happiness you know what I'm saying we done been through enough stress enough drama enough all of that in life you know what I mean and I don't think I need to help carry that on by translating that through music you know what I mean I want my music to be informative happy uplifting and confidence building you know sound nerdy or whatever but it's whatever man it's a lot of people out here that's doing the opposite so I'm gonna do that but you gotta also ask yourself can music get me somewhere if you can do music now to all my people that can do music if you've been doing it for a while don't listen to me when I say that like, I just because I cut off or I think it's a cut off age for it you never know you might just be 30, 40 year old rapper out there and you might get a deal and strike it big and 
boom, blow up. You know what I mean? You might be the next Jay or Rakim or Ice Cube, you know, one of them super OGs that's still doing it. Um, but they didn't have time in the game, so you got to put your time in the game as well. So my whole thing is if you going to do this music thing and you're a little bit older, translate how the younger cats could be doing it, you know? Because if not, we're going to be sitting up out here and this is going to be a whole bunch of little young dudes just spitting a whole bunch of BS for no reason. And we need a difference. We need a change because that's what they're doing now, man. All the music sound the same. So if you come in with a different type of vibe, if you come in with a different type of style, if you come in with just a different type of appeal, I think you'll be able to change the format of the music and everything that's going on right now. So, you got to ask yourself, can this help me? Can this help other people? You know what I mean? Do I want to spit this game to these folks? Or do I want to just go ahead and let them float off into the abyss and watch everybody drown and the sea of stupidity? You know what I mean? I can't do that. So, I'd rather translate to my people. You know what I'm saying? You can ask my little brothers and my little sisters. You know what I mean? When I spit, I spit to them. I try to spit common sense when I talk to them and they sound like they own something crazy, I already let them know that ain't finna result in nothing, nothing good. You know what I'm saying? Take me as an example. I'll be like, take me as an example. Y'all know I used to wild out when I was younger and it showed through the music because I had violent music back in the day. It wasn't focused. It was always, you know what I'm saying? I wish somebody would come up to me and say something. I'll get the whap, whap, whap. You know, it was like that because I was angry and focused on just angry, angry thoughts. But now, <clears throat> when I switched everything over now, and everything that got better, and I cleaned up my act, now my music has purpose. Now I spit to go ahead and let people know that, you know what I'm saying, all of that violence and all that other stuff, man, that's for the, the crazy people, and that's for the birds. Um, I'm not into taking nothing from nobody. I'm not into hurting nobody. I'm not into, you know what I'm saying? killing nobody or stealing from nobody so that's not finna reflect in my music so you have to ask yourself who are you and what do you want to translate in your music if you are doing this music thing and for people that's not doing the music thing and y'all just looking on the sideline as spectators just know this music thing ain't easy it's not easy to come up with uh, a lot of rhymes that make sense that all going that's all going to groove and mesh well with every um, culture every time period which I mean like 80s babies 60s baby you know all those and it also has to translate well for corporate America as well because <clears throat> corporate America is the one that's going to be sponsoring it if you let them sponsor it now if you go solo then you'll be good and you go, yeah, you can do your own little vibe and whatever you want to do but if you're trying to get a music deal or a record deal in this music industry, you're going to have to be somewhat profitable. You're going to be have to be sellable. Um, you're also going to have to be translatable. And that's just all industry type things. And that's corporate type things. They gonna all want they gonna want you to be um, of a certain image and of a certain way of thinking so if you not with that then they not with that they're not gonna give you that big money if you with that then you might get that big money so to all my people i want y'all to ask yourself and if you can go ahead and leave me a comment in the you know comment box because i'm trying to get my comments up I'm trying to get my people to comment more you know what i'm saying so my videos can jump a little more in the algorithm you still i'm doing good man i done got back up in the positives so I'm trying to push that back up just a little bit more and let them know we ain't playing no games around here, man. I'm trying to get on, you know what I mean? Spread the word a little bit, man. I'm trying to do, show people that, you know, you don't have to copy off everybody in order to be successful. If you got a, a proper formula and you can produce that formula and produce it to the crowd and show people like, yo, listen, this is what I got. This is what I can do. Um, it's all off the top of the dome. Here you go. If they like it, cool. If they don't then critique yourself go back to the drawing board see what you can do better and 
present it to them one more again. That's what I'm doing. Uh, so I done had a, a few shows where I done tried and they done fail horribly. So I don't let them fall to the wayside, but they're not gone. I might get a different crowd and those shows might appeal to a different crowd. So I'm going to keep them in the background. But for now, I'm doing these type, you know, because I want people to know that you can do your own thing without having to, to be a copycat, man. And that's how it is with the music thing, too. So to sum all of this, this Music Monday up, to me, music represents life. It represents you. It represents the people you're around. It represents your environment. It also represents where you're going, where you've been, and where you want to be. So you got to make sure that all of those are in sequence with each other. And you can basically tell somebody whole little rhythm and whole little rhyme by the way they react to things musically. You can tell people's um, likes and dislikes musically. Um, you can tell people's pet peeves and deepest, darkest secrets from music. You can tell a lot of things through music. You can translate a lot of things through music. So take that power, be responsible with that power, you know, and maybe you might even get a little following and you never know. You might get a little hip hop crowd, rock crowd, country crowd, whatever it is type of flow of music that you do you might get that crowd and you might actually make your dream come true and we all know that's the key to life so i'd like to thank y'all for joining me once again on this monday man um like share subscribe um leave a comment for me you know what i mean try to help me get to this 1000 because i am on the road to 1000 i'm gonna be going crazy once i get to 900 i'm gonna be on that on that hard you know what I'm saying? Before the end of the year. So help your boy out man, one time. And with that being said, y'all, I'm going to be out, man. Y'all enjoy y'all Monday. I'll do the same. Peace.